Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. Oil on the aperture blades of a Canon FD 50mm 1.4 lens causes them to stick. Let's get it taken apart. Begin by releasing the breech mount and partially spinning it so that the three screws can be accessed. With these three screws removed, the back plate assembly can be lifted free. The AE lock pin and spring should also be removed so that they don't inadvertently get lost. Now flip the lens and use a friction mat along with a friction stopper to remove the front nameplate. Next, remove the three screws holding the filter ring. A spanner wrench is used to remove the front lens group. With the threads loose, it can be spun out using the fingertips. The front of the diaphragm is now exposed. Flip the lens to now address the back lens group. If you're lucky, the entire lens group will come out. More than likely, the back lens retainer will break free first. If this happens, the rear lens group will need to be disassembled lens by lens. As the retainers are removed, flip the lens over so the elements will drop free into the palm of your hand. Pay extra careful attention to the order in which the lens elements come free from the assembly. Note the spacer ring. With the elements laid out in such a manner as shown here, Reassembly will be much easier. You just start at the bottom and work your way to the top. Now use an electrical grade aerosol cleaner to flush all the oil from the aperture blades. Don't be afraid to use it liberally. Work the blade assembly as you flush away all the oil. Because this type of contact cleaner evaporates so quickly, it does not dissolve the grease on the helical threads. Also check to make certain that the stop down lever moves freely. Once you are certain that all the oil has been removed, you may dress the uh, aperture blades with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on a cleaning swab. A little blast of compressed air or from a hand blower will help the blades dry quickly. Clean the elements as you reassemble them. As you drop the elements in place, sometimes a wooden stick can be used to nudge them down so they seat properly. Note the beveled angle on the lens spacer and install it down. Use a wooden stick to nudge the spacer ring into place until it is seated properly. If you have trouble with oil from your fingertips smudging the lenses as you seat them in place, wear some lint-free cotton gloves. Use gentle, even finger pressure to start the retainers as they can be easily cross-threaded. Snug the ring up with a spanner wrench. Once seated, the final lens group and retainer will be slightly proud of the tube. Don't forget the AE pin and spring. Manipulate the levers on the lens and on the breech mount in the position shown so that they were synchronized properly as you seat the two together. Test for proper operation of the aperture assembly after you get the breech mount seated. If satisfied with the function, install the screws. The bayonet ring will need to be manipulated into different positions so as to be able to access all the screw holes. Check the lock ring for proper operation, releasing the lock post with the point of a screwdriver during the test. 
Once the rear mount is assembled, again, test for proper operation. Now the front lens group can be reinstalled. A spanner wrench to lightly tighten. Drop the filter ring into place, then align the screw holes. Seat the nameplate ring and carefully thread into position. A friction wrench made from a rubber stopper finishes off the job. How about that? They work. Thank you for watching.